Hello everyone, it's your boy Vanilla. I know it's been a long time, and it's been a long time for me since I even done DoorDash. Not just DoorDash videos, but DoorDash. But I've slowly gotten back into it the past couple weeks, and I've done the, ba the best I've ever done in the past few weeks, like ever doing DoorDash. So, it's been pretty good. I'll show you what I got with me. I got water, coffee, breakfast, and then you know lunch slash dinner kind of and it's been really busy now usually I haven't had to do this but I have my Tesla in chill mode I don't know if you can see that or not I try to preserve as much power as I can because yesterday I had to drive 20 minutes out of my zone to go supercharge my car I've never had to charge my car twice in a day just so I can door dash the you know as much as I wanted to but lately I've been doing, uh, you know, I want to say about double the amount of money that I have been before in these videos. So it's been pretty good. So let's hope that I'm so busy I have to run 20 minutes out of my zone and then go charge my car again. Well, I'll catch you guys back when I uh, get into my zone in about another uh, 18 minutes. So yeah, it's November 16th. And it's at 7.44 a.m. Let's get it. Okay, we made it. I'm currently at my favorite hangout spot. The empty parking lot. At least it is right now because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. By the Kroger in this town. And uh, I don't know how well this is going to do today. I mean, like, I think since it's uh, Saturday, you know, it should be a pretty busy day overall. But I have not done early, like, breakfast shifts uh, on the weekends, so I don't know if people are like sleeping in and then if it's orders are not going to come till like 10 a.m. or not I don't know, but I'll uh, I'll catch you guys when I get my first offer Currently 826 still no offers, but uh My uh, coffee cup has a leaky lid apparently Perfect on the white sweatshirt for the whole day, and I don't have anything else with me Now usually I wouldn't do this but I'm currently at 236 miles, no runs. It is currently 8.40 a.m. Um, it was busier yesterday at this time, I'll say that. But there is a, uh, a car charger um, down here that is free. It's not like a Tesla supercharger, it's, you know, around 20 miles an hour 19 to 24 miles an hour something like that charging rate but it's free now if i went there when i first got down here i would have had probably about 16 17 miles added to charge to my battery which would have been pretty nice you know i didn't think i was gonna have to wait for a run so hopefully by the time i get there i can even out my miles or uh you know get at it because the thing is it's about one and a half to two miles away so the worst thing that can happen is you drive all the way over there and then you get a run but if you get a run it's money so why not so let's head over there and I'll show you guys what it looks like okay I don't know if you can see that in the reflection but it's uh it's hooked up now and it's just uh standard EV charger so I have to use the Tesla adapter but it has a top charging rate of 24 miles an hour hour and 40 minutes remaining for a full charge wouldn't that be nice so uh but you know I don't want to sit here for an hour and 40 minutes so hopefully we get a ride here soon you know what now that I think about it I should have probably in the mornings park next to the McDonald's because that seems to be the busiest spot for the first couple hours so that might be might put myself in a queue ahead of others when getting uh those orders but whatever it is what it is now i've gotten my miles back from driving over here so any more miles i get is a net positive to my car and for the day so catch you guys when i finally get an order it's a real slow start but hopefully it gets better well, I'm at 240 miles, and I finally got my first offer, and it's a really good one. Now, they have decreased the pricing in this, but they have it at Walgreens, at least in this area. I know other areas have their own 
you know, orders like this, where you take photos of shelves at the store to show inventory and pricing. And it's honestly the best order you can have. And it's kind of sad because you used to pay like $35 to do it, right? Take, you know, 40 to 50 photos, whatever it may be. And now it's worked its way down to like 12-ish bucks. It was like 35, then 18, then 17. Now it's like 12, and it's like, uh, you know, they're gonna keep pushing it down to see, you know, if people will continue to take them at a reduced rate to save them money, which they it will. It'll work its way down to five, six dollars in, in no time, I believe it. But let's head to Walgreens and let's take those photos. Made it to the Walgreens. Let's get these photos of these aisles done. Make some quick money. About 10 minutes will probably do it. Well, just got done with the Walgreens. Um, got an order for McDonald's, so seven bucks. I'll show the miles up there, or something like that. But I ran in there and I also picked up this. Remember those commercials where you can get rid of the stains with a little pen? So when I get some free time, I'm gonna try that on my new little coffee stain on my white sweatshirt. So we'll give a little product view, not sponsored of course, because I'm a nobody in a little bit, but let's get this McDonald's real quick. Here we go, Taco Bell and Mickey D's. Mickey D's, ba da ba ba. I'm loving it. Package required. Okay, just completed that order. Got another one, 750, 3.2 miles, make it easy again. Said accept, and we're off to the races. Well, just finished that order. Uh, here we go, we got one, $10, eight and a half miles. Let me take this off here. Let's accept it. But uh, I was going to show off dropping that off, but my mount doesn't really move that well, and there was no parking facing where the door was. So, man, it's really picking up how busy because I really want to do the stain. I got the pen out, but got to keep working while, while we can. My God, is it busy right now. Okay, I'm driving over to this... Uh, seven mile drop off from mcdonald's for like 10 bucks i think i'm gonna try cleaning this stain while driving i don't know i know that doesn't sound safe but i'm gonna pay attention you know i'm just gonna push the pen on the area swirl it around with the solution and see if anything happens i just don't think i'm gonna have any free time for a long long time so Let's see what happens. Honestly, not the best. Five dollars, four point one miles, and oh my god, I forgot McDonald's was busy. But you know what? Some money is better than no money. I've made a lot more money taking these smaller orders than passing up on so many that you end up doing nothing for hours. And I don't think that's the way to go. So, but then again, it's gonna run down my miles in my car. So we'll see what happens. There we go again. Was this like the third time at Mickey D's? I think I've made a grave mistake with my lunch. I usually make these sandwiches and I usually toast the bread. I was like, well, I really want to save time today. Not going to toast it. And I put extra sauces on it. Well, that thing's in my lunchbox. You hear that? It's wet and mushy. Oh my god. Well, hopefully the stuff still tastes okay, but I'm a little disappointed. That's all I could say. Well, the sandwich is not that bad. It's just, I think the sauce kind of got through the bread there, but I took a screenshot of it. I got an order for Papa John's $12.50 for 5.4 miles. 
There's Papa John's just right over there. It just usually takes them a while to get ready, so I'll give it a couple minutes before I run in there. So it is 11.37 a.m. Currently around 55 bucks pretty much. Um, at this time yesterday, I was probably around 80 something. So, you know, a little bit behind on that part, but I'm pretty close to $20 an hour. So, uh, and it, it's about to be less unless I get another run here in the next 20 minutes. But so far, so, not so bad. 197 miles charged on the car. Let's see if I don't have to run 20 minutes down the road or down the highway, I should say, to get another charge. Let's hope not. You know, it's just, you know, a waste of time. You know, you got to drive 20 minutes there, charge the car for 20 minutes, and then drive 20 minutes back. So there goes an hour plus another 12 or $13 on electricity costs as well. So, you know, if we can avoid that, would be good. Hopefully we get more runs and better runs, being that it's the weekend. And I try to average now. I'm my goal and for the future from now and on is an average of $170 a day. If I can do that five, six days a week, I'll be good. So let's see what happens. And there we go. Not even a minute later. Taco Bell, seven dollars, four point two miles. I will take that. And hopefully it goes quick. I just got a stacked order at Taco Bell, additional six plus. So we'll see what that turns out to be. And it's like additional 0.4 miles of driving. So that's not the problem. The problem is, is that depending on how busy it is, and usually even if it's not so busy, you're going to have separation between the orders, between other customers as well. So it's like, how long am I going to wait for both orders? That's the thing that sucks. Last night, I probably, I probably gave up like 30 or $40 worth of orders that I accepted, but I had to uh, cancel afterwards just because the, the wait was just ridiculous. And now it was dinner time at that point, but it's just crazy how you can go to a restaurant and be like, okay, this is going to take 25 minutes to get your food. And, you know, that it's just way too much time when you consider you still have to drive to the other location and come back. It's so sad. This I could tell you this. Delivering food would be so much better if you actually went to the place and the food was ready every time right when you got there. You would make 50% more money just because how much time you waste on waiting for stuff. But hopefully I don't waste that much time heading to the Taco Bell right now. Okay, I quickly picked up the orders. Thankfully, after I used the restroom, washed my hands. Both orders were ready, so let's go deliver. Okay, that's the house to the left, so. Okay, we finally got another order. Five bucks, 2.2 miles, Culver's. I'd say it takes about them three to five minutes to usually get the food ready. Butter burger with cheese value basket with uh, some type of drink or medium root beer. Let's get it. I think it's just right across the street, somewhere over there. Culver's looking pretty busy. Let's see if I can find a parking spot without getting ran into. said you sir are awesome and you know what i appreciate that barbecue pickup five dollars couple miles let's go pick it up being there there was no parking near the restaurant now i'm just gonna have to walk over there Okay, well, I was going back to my usual spot, but uh, I just got an order for $5.50 for like one point something miles at Wendy's, which Wendy's is usually okay here, 
but it looked really busy when I was driving by, so I'm a little nervous on how long this is actually gonna take. Okay, so it's got a pretty much a full drive-through line. I don't know. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Let's see if it goes somewhat quick. Well, to my surprise, all the food was ready within a minute, so let's go deliver it. Sorry guys, I was too uh, busy scarfing down a second sandwich. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we are at uh, we are at a, uh, a Dairy Queen. So it was a stacked order for uh, eleven dollars and fifty cents. Not sure how many miles you'll be able to see it somewhere on the screen. Uh, let's get it. Okay, I got both orders, both Dairy Queen orders. One of them is just right around the corner. I have to take it to someone, hand it to them at a goodwill. So we'll see how that goes. Quite sunny of a day. Thankfully, it's not pouring down rain like it has been a couple times this past week. So let's get this dropped off. Okay, I'm back at the hangout spot. I will say I'm doing a lot better today than I was yesterday with dollar to mile slash power usage, I guess. Because yesterday at noon, so about an hour and 30 minutes quicker, I got to 100 bucks, which is really good. But I got to like 130 miles, 140, 130. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I have any footage or any proof of what I did. Exactly. I think I'm okay. I have 171 miles of range and I'm already at a hundred bucks. So I'm thinking like, okay, even if it takes me a hundred miles of driving for another hundred bucks, which I don't even need, I'm good. Even if it takes me 130 miles, I'll be okay. But let's hope it doesn't take that much because I have about 30 mile. 30 minute drive that's roughly 25 to 30 miles away so after all this to get back home so we'll see so far so good um let's hope for the best well we got a quick subway pickup um five dollars one point something miles even though it's one point something miles it's gonna take six seven minutes just to drive over to the spot because it's in the downtown part of this area Plus, there's a little bit more traffic over there with the weekend. Um, so, yeah, I guess let's go get it. I'm like, the subway's just right over there. So, hopefully the subway doesn't take too long getting those sandwiches ready. Got the subway. Okay, I'm looking for a number 70. Set so place it inside the door. So, we'll try to go find it around the corner here. Should be somewhere over here. Not too bad. It was just right around the corner. It took five seconds. While I was walking back, I got another order. Los Reyes, uh, so Mexican restaurant. 11 bucks for like five or six miles. And it's literally right around the corner. Two minutes away, 0.2 miles. Let's get it. <laughs> that was fast. Got in like 30 seconds. Let's go. Probably the quickest one yet. Well, that took a while. Six and a half bucks, 4.6 miles, and make it ease. Oh, well, you gotta take what you can take. Um, it's kind of dead in the day anyways. It's 2.51 p.m., so, you know, lunch kind of stops at 1.32 p.m., so anytime between 2 and 5, it's gonna be hit or miss, so we take it. Any step to going towards our goals uh, is a good step, so let's get it. This one is an interesting one. Usually I would take this, but it's two orders. Um, one's in town, but it's a Hardee's Grubhub. Say bye-bye to $23. Just being it was 19.7 miles, you know. It's just, you know, there goes 40 miles of my range, and then 
wow, I traded twenty dollars for you know a third of my battery left. So let's get to McDonald's. Okay, picked up the McDonald's. Um, I also had to get a Diet Coke, man. I was just craving something to wake me up a little bit. So let's go get this delivery of six dollars and fifty cents. Here we go. Dairy Queen 6 plus 1.5 miles. Let's see what they got. Chili cheese co uh, chili cheese dog combo with a medium Coke and uh, original cheeseburger. Let's go get it. Okay, I picked up the Dairy Queen. Um, come on, car move. So there ain't going to be much recording on this one because I just got a Grubhub order, which you could see on the screen right now. That is a lot of money. It's like $13 for three miles, I think. But I have to be there by 329, which is 10 minutes from now. And it's gonna take four minutes to get to this drop off. So I don't know, you know, I gotta be quick, quick. So I'm gonna try to drop this off and then run to pick up the other order at the Chinese restaurant, which is gonna really help my day out. So yeah, multi-apping, I guess. First time seeing that on the channel. Okay. Heading to the Chinese buffet right now. That uh, six plus order turned out to be uh, $6.50. But right now, we're about to make 13 bucks. I'm like five minutes away. I'm gonna be there right on time. So not bad, not bad. And we're showing up to the Chinese restaurant just here in a, just a minute. But I'm like right on time, right on time for the, the pickup time. Hopefully the food's ready and that'll be even better. Let's go get it. Bro, I rushed over here on time. Yeah, the order just started. They said they just got it. Well, I'll tell you this, guys. That took 20 minutes waiting for that order, which is ridiculous. The only good thing is, is that you pick up the drive, you pick up the orders through drive-thru instead of waiting inside the restaurant. I will say, look, it is a pretty decent sized bag of food, but I got the order 15 to 20 minutes before I even got there for the pickup time. He says he just got the order, whatever, maybe he just noticed, um, but 20 minute wait time, now the $13 order doesn't seem that good, you know. The drop off is really close, 0.8 miles, 4 minutes, but... So I guess I saved battery in the essence for money, but other than that, you know, 30 minutes for $13, I guess is still good. If you made another $13 and they were $26 an hour, it's just 20 minutes waiting for an order. It's just way too long. That sucks. Would have been great if it was like within five minutes or less, but it is what it is now. Well, I completed that order. Um, it was a hand to diner order, so I hand knocked on the door, went to go hand to him, and he was very cautious. I say, I guess I'll say, is that a because he was like opening the door very slowly, I'm like what the heck? But I got another offer for six dollars and fifty cents for Taco Bell, and I think it was around three-ish miles or something like that. My here's the screen of acceptance, but I'll put up the other screen here in a second. But yeah, I guess I'll go pick up some Taco Bell. And I think that puts me around with that Grubhub order. 138, 139 today. And then plus this, you know, another six dollars on top. Was that 145, I guess? Somewhere around that. Let's get it. Okay, leaving the Taco Bell right now. Um drop off as a hand to me order at a urgent care about five six minutes away so let's go do it you know i'd like to get home somewhat reasonable tonight might need to go to walmart and pick out some stuff for uh my day off but uh you know do a little bit oh fuck. okay that's fine do a little bit of shopping but um yeah, I'd like to go home at a somewhat reasonable time tonight just so I can get this video out to you guys, you know? Get it out same night as the dash, hopefully. 
feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of photo editing and putting crap in here, so we'll see. I will say this, the best part about this being like your job, most people, you know, it wouldn't even be considered a job, it's just a side gig, is that you can watch YouTube and listen to music while you're chilling in your car. You know, if you're, now, you're not getting paid for sitting in your car, that's the thing. I'm not getting paid just relaxing here in my Tesla, <laughs> but when you're not getting paid, uh... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's that, you know, at a regular job, you can't do this. You can't just be like, yeah, I'm just going to watch the new Roman Atwood video or whatever. But, uh, but I can. And it's the paid time that makes up for the non-paid time with this gig is the thing. If I got paid every single minute, I was just constant delivery, boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, I'd make a lot more money. That's for sure. Probably make uh, three hundred plus dollars a day, but uh, it's just uh, that's just how it rolls, you know. But uh, at least when I'm not working, I'm not just sitting doing nothing. I got my phone and I got my car that I can, you know. I don't even know what you could do in this thing. Let's see, and you can play games on. I know, but yeah. Hopefully we get an order soon because it is uh, currently 4.18 p.m. And uh, I want to get home within the next couple hours if I can, possibly. So yeah, let's catch you in a bit. Man, that took long enough. 6.75 plus, 2.5 miles, Dairy Queen. It's about time. What did they get? Two blizzards? Done. Okay, well, I got an order for seven bucks right after missing that six plus opportunity for that easy pickup. It's a Walgreens. It's like four items, and one of them is Mucinex. So apparently, I gotta check and scan the ID of the person that I'm giving this to because you have to be. Oh my gosh, I thought I almost didn't hit accept again. I was freaking out. It was just the arrive at store button, but dude. I'm so upset about missing that one. At least I got something quick, but I'm going to contact this customer and make sure they have their ID ready and if they're willing to do that, because if not, I'm not even going to go in the store. But here's the Walgreens right here. Hello? Hi, this is your DoorDash. I was just going to confirm with you. I need to scan your ID when I uh, do this order. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm guessing it's just because it was from the Mucinex or something like that. But, uh. Yeah, it's for the Mucinex. Okay. Well, uh, I'll get this done pretty quick and then I'll be on my way, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There we go. Let's go get it. Well, currently 146.19 plus the 13 ish dollars on Grubhub. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Um, <laughs> all I know is the next place I need to stop to, I need to use a restroom and wash my hands. I, mean, I don't think I really made much contact there, but the lady was sick, and that's why she needed that Mucinex. Of course, that makes sense. But, of course, you're doing a hand delivery. The last thing I want to do is get sick, too. So, Whew. I don't know. I wish I had some hand sanitizer in here, but uh, I should be good. Maybe I'll run into the Burger King around the corner here and uh, go use the restroom and wash my hands. Of course, I just touched my hands with my face and touch my face with my hands. There we go. Okay, this is the classification of an order I would not be taking. It's a good dollar to miles ratio, honestly. But when you click on the five items, you got, you know, a 24 pack of water. <clears throat> A case of lemonade, arr, Sprite, arr, Sour Patch Kid thing, and a gummy bears, whatever. Those are fine, but, you know, that's just way too much crap. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. Okay, we just accepted an order for eight fifty dollars for three point something miles. You'll see it on the green screen somewhere. But uh, it's Papa John's, man. Papa John's, what did they get? 
Oh my lord. Two 10 inch cheese sticks, buffalo wings, and two pizzas? The bag I'm using isn't even really a pizza bag, it's like a catering bag. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't that well, but uh. Problem is, it's Saturday night, it's dinner time. I know Papa John's gonna be busy, so. We'll get in there in the next five minutes and uh. And hopefully the order's ready within 10 minutes. That's saying much. Well, that's great. They just told me it's just getting into the oven or getting out of the oven or whatever. And uh, reality, she's trying to say is they're undashing it. I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? They canceled the order. After I waited like 10 minutes, I'm already here, dude. They should pay me something. If I complain to DoorDash, they probably would, but I just don't feel like it. I'll get the next order. Hopefully it's better somehow. Well, that stinks on the Papa John, especially waiting, and then they cancel the order. Don't give me any money. Seven bucks, Taco Bell. It's like three point something miles. Hopefully it's ready so I can just, you know, I want to end the day off, you know. Stop dicking around with these orders, please. Just let me get the order. Let me do the job so we can all go home. Come on, DoorDash. Just give me one more banger to end it. 153 plus 13 and some change. Uh, that's what 166. So four plus dollars, and I will be over 170. Come on now. I feel like I kind of just want to hold the camera on my phone until I get it. Or oh, I you know what? You know what? That freaking does it. I don't care. You know, the thing is, I could keep going, and you know what? If you're doing this to make a living. Do keep going. I grinded. I had my best day just a couple days ago. I think it was two days ago. I did $240 on one day. So it can really help some people out if, if you can, if you're wor willing to put in the work. Okay. not done yet okay it's pretty dark out now but on my way to get my final delivery and it should crack me up at uh i think uh 171 somewhere around that you'll see the total on the screen for the night but i just hope you guys go out there and grind and do something good something uh that benefits your life somehow and uh i'll catch you guys later i don't even know if you can see me but you guys have a good night bye